Nope, I'm still in the middle. Okay, so that one there, then this guy should be here. Oh wait, no. Uh, like this, right? Yes, okay. Fantastic, which means that this guy goes here, this goes up here. Wonderful, okay. So that should be all the dark matter that we needed there. Uh, uses, okay, so we need the pickaxe, hammer, and shovel for one. So these guys go in here along with uh, all that makes the morning star. Fantastic. Uh, I've forgotten the uh, I forgot the sword. Whoops. So we'll just do that one quickly. Uh, sword, and then dark matter here, red matter up here, possibly no down here, which means that red matter goes here. Cool. And then is it the same story um, with these guys? And axe. So the rest is all red matter, which gives us the red guitar. Yay! <laughs> So that is all the um, tools possible to be upgraded, or at least to their highest form. That is fantastic. On top of that, uh, I also needed... Um, I need another black hole band, so how much are those? We're going to have to start uh, <laughs> making a lot more um, of the bands if we continue at this point. Uh, there we go. So we'll put some in there, put one up here, these in here. And this guy in here, take out a whole bunch of those. Then we've got seven of these guys, which is fine. Uh, actually, we'll take all those buckets and convert them straight to EMC. That's cool. Uh, on top of that, what was it? Uh, black hole band is... let's see. Here we go, so we need some string. I can hear a spider, <laughs> but that's not what we want to uh, get at the moment. Although it is quite annoying. Can I, uh, where is he? I have no clue. Okay, never mind. He must be downstairs. <sighs> okay, so, uh, we still need the string. Can I just grab out string in here? Is there even string in here? Probably not. Um, we'll grab out some various things that we can convert down to. Okay, so these guys first. Um, oh, there it is. Cool. So I got some string. Uh, convert that back and that. Cool. Then it was... what else? Uh, dark matter plus the band is fine, so dark matter along the sides. Uh, band in the middle, which I took out. <laughs> band in the middle, dark matter along the sides, and string all around. Four, five, six gives us the uh, black hole band, which is fantastic. Uh, then I also wanted the gem of eternal density. So here we go, gem. Uh, oops, no, not gem. R. gem of eternal density, which is diamond and obsidian. So let's grab out some diamond uh, we've already got, which is cool. Uh, obsidian. So convert. Oh no, it's right there. Sorry. Cool. And this guy in here. Uh, if I go like that, that gets it all out. Then it was diamond like so. Uh, this guy here, and I think these guys up here. Cool. Not a problem. That is all sorted. Uh, now I need to choose a bag, I think. Let's see. White has got a whole bunch of crap in it. That's got a whole bunch of crap in it. I don't think any of this other stuff matters except for the linking books, but the linking books should be fine. So I'm going to pop these guys in here. Cool. And with that, <laughs> all the other random stuff got turned into uh, EMC, but that's okay. Here we go, and we need to pick up our Dense Ores book, because we don't want to lose that. Because we have proven that um, that it would something something. I think it's Katar that uh, has a sword in it. Yeah, I should be killing it with the Katar, but the Morningstar worked fine, so... Okay, uh, I need a Link Book stand. Do I have any wood for that? Uh, no, I don't. Nether hub can stay. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I think that should be fine then. Um, so we'll go straight there. I'll show you what these guys can do. And um, depending on how much time I have left, then maybe I'll like just chat for a little bit and then we'll probably get going. Um, just because I've got a lot, of others, ah, a lot of other stuff to do today, unfortunately. Right. So what you can do with this guy is charge him up, right click on something. And that didn't work because... I don't know. <laughs> Either way, 
all of it's getting picked up really quickly um, because of these guys. They should be going straight in there, but for some reason they are not. Uh, not quite sure why. I think I'm picking them up before they have the chance to be picked up by something else. Anyway, so this is what I was told to show you. Right click on stone. Oh. Bam. <laughs> All of that is gone and into my inventory. Um, that was a nether ore that just blew up, so that's cool. And none of this stuff is going to, to the bag. Why is that? Um, that's kind of annoying, but we'll keep trying. And one of those, yeah, okay, those nether ores blow up. That's okay. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, fly. I don't want to fall too far. Now look how many diamonds are around here. Unfortunately. <sighs> oh dear. So I managed to load in. Uh, I think I tried to pick up the star blocks, um, the star thingy blocks which makes me go back into this world and that's possibly why I crashed. Uh, I ended up loading back in, I fell through it and that is why I am taking the flight of shame all the way back to the temple so that we can uh, kind of get back there. So I will see you guys when we are back in that world. <sighs> okay, back down we go. Wow, look at this mess. <laughs> That is uh, quite the mess indeed. Now I'm not going to go too close to that thing this time, I'm going to move along until uh, we're not going to have to worry about it too much anymore. Something there's going to blow up. There it is. <laughs> yeah, got to worry about that when um, playing around with nether ores. That's why I'm kind of annoyed that they're showing up here, but oh well. Um, so this should be far enough. What are you? I have no clue what you are. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave my inventory to be full. Oh, ah, okay, that was annoying. Um, again, turn off Matmos. I'm going to assume that it is not very safe to uh, be mining around here just because it keeps blowing like my game up and I can't do anything. Uh, we did manage to get eight red matter and we still got one dark matter and all this other ore, especially all this nether ore, that's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do any more mining for now, just because I don't want my stuff to kind of blow up. Uh, that would be fantastic, really. So, it is back through this portal. I mean, really, I should have just used my uh, my book. Hmm. Actually, I can still do that. So, let's grab out this, and we'll just go over to the nether. Leave that book here. <laughs> we'll come over here. See, that's why it's so useful to have a... Uh, Nexus or whatever in the nether, so that's cool. Grab up my book and pop my book in the chest, and I need to sneeze. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much what we wanted to get done today. I still have a few more things to talk about though, so don't worry. Um, say diamonds, coal can go in there. Uh, iron band, nope. Dark matter that was from our other thing. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we need to get started on sorting all this junk, so I'm going to pop up the stuff. I'll pop off the stuff, rather. Um, did I lose all of that? Oh, good. For some reason, I was sure that it was going to turn it into a uh, bunch of other stuff. Oh, well, I'll leave that hole there for now. Now, what I want to do is pop that there, then pop this up here. And every time I have stuff finished getting sorted, uh, it's going to go into this chest. So, I th or at least it should. Um, haven't actually tried that out before. As far as I was aware of, it did, but I guess not. Anyway, um, take out all the iron, pop all the iron back in here. Uh, yeah, I was under the impression that it would do that. That's very odd. Maybe if I put him on the other side. Um, let's see. Damn, it's gone in the bag again, hasn't it? <sighs> okay. You and you. Cool. If I put it on this one, then what do you do? Keep in mind that the red matter furnace does double all my ores, so all of these should be getting doubled. Yes, okay, so it does go into this chest, it doesn't go into the condenser for some reason or other. But, you know, all of it's going to get put in here, and there's tons of room, so hopefully uh, we're not going to have to worry too much about it. 
Um, tin, tin, iron. Uh, pop all that iron and gold in there for now. Glowstone, blaze powder. Actually, no, glowstone and blaze powder can come out and go into here because whenever. Oh, that's unusual. I thought that all um, power was going to go straight into the red matter furnace, but he seems fine, so. Oh well. Anyway, um, and. Taking out all the rest of the gold. Gold can go in here. Um, it's not all going to fit, obviously, so I might leave it to run by itself for a little while. But, yeah. Okay, anyway, there was some other stuff that I wanted to talk about. Uh, right, going to my nice little list. Right, just a few things. Thank you guys so much for donating. All of you guys. JH, LS, Blazian, Christopher, LB, Gaming XB. Well, LB is um, Birdie Snipe, as far as I'm aware of. Um, he still needs to provide some stuff. And KK, thank you guys so much for donating. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, following that, I said that I wanted to uh, start up a YouTube or a, a Minecraft server. Now, I've had a few different ideas. One of them was like. I possibly want to start up a YouTuber server, so like a whole bunch of YouTubers would be able to come onto the server. It would be a whitelisted server, so you guys wouldn't be able to play on it, but you'd be able to, you know, see me play on it and see some of your other favorite YouTubers play on it. I think it would probably be a Technic server. I'm not quite sure on that yet, but that is one possibility. Um, the other possibility is having the public server. Now, the one where you guys can play on it, the problem with that one is that griefing is so easy with the Technic pack that I probably wouldn't be able to do anything but have it as, uh, you know, have it as a something something. What am I thinking? Um, uh, wouldn't be able to. Oh, it would probably. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> My brain. Hang on a second. Okay, the problem with a tech, like having a public Technic server is that you guys wouldn't be able to, well, you guys would be able to grief so easily that, like, I would probably have to hire a whole bunch of mods, which, like, again, a lot of you guys would probably say, oh yeah, you guys are keen, um, but that's not quite how it also works, um, like, I, uh, so the chances of that, like, I wouldn't be able to do that until I start getting a forum going. Like, I could just make it a whitelisted server. I can't do that until I've gotten some other stuff sorted for my university work. So that would have to wait, so you guys wouldn't be able to play until then. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. It, it's a whole bunch of headaches to have a public, or at least a fan-based Technic server, just because it's so easy to grief. Like, just one person has to get annoyed and then start griefing someone else's stuff that, like, I would have to ban them, and then I'd still have to try and fix everything, along with, like, or getting mods to it, and all that kind of stuff, and it can just kind of be a real big hassle. So that's why I'm kind of, I don't know, I'd be able to have, like, the 1.3 server, because that one doesn't really have any mods yet, but again, like, it's still possible to grief other people's stuff, so that's kind of a worry. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, let, let me know. Um, because I'll probably only do one of them. Uh, I may possibly be able to get a friends server running, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to talk to them about it because yeah, it's their server, not mine, so I can't really say for sure about that one. But yeah, so those are kind of the choices if it's just from the money I've been getting from donations, which I again, I am very grateful for. It's still sitting in my PayPal. I haven't done anything with it. Um, yeah, so it's either a public server for you guys to run around on, again it would probably only be a whitelisted server, which may have to wait until I get a forum going, um, so that would have to kind of wait for a while, you wouldn't be able to play on that for a while, or I can try to get a YouTuber type server running where you get to see some of your favourite YouTubers all kind of playing on the same server, not necessarily together, um, like, they'd be able to go off and do their own thing, like if you've seen some of Direwolf 20s videos where he has the whole bunch of uh, mod creators and himself playing, um, it'd be kind of that setup where people get to go do their own thing or they can record and, you know, go to visit other people. That is another possibility, so, yeah. 
I think that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, where have... Uh, I was going to say, where is my um, thingy? But, yeah. Cool. Anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed today. If you have any kind of response, feel free to leave that down below because I do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time. Sorry again for the uh, shorter video. If it is shorter, I, I just don't have a lot of time between my uni work and stuff. So, yeah, catch you guys later. Hey guys, not sure how long this episode is going to be because I'm trying to balance a lot of things around uni. So, uh, yeah, I'll try and be uh, quite quick about it. Uh, first of all, we are going to go in here and we're going to take out two new signs. That's right, two. And we're going to pop over here and uh, one goes up here and it is for this person. XP, X12. Um, he's added a note to his PayPal donation, so I know that this is actually who he is. That is fantastic. If you guys uh, over here, just remember to PM me on YouTube with your full name and um, I'll be able to change that up for you if you want me to. Uh, LB is supposed to be getting changed. Apparently it was someone's um, mother. I'm just waiting on another PM to make sure that uh, that is the right one. And the next one along here was K.K. .K. Fantastic. They had actually quite an awesome name to be honest, but uh, yeah, going to stick with that. Cool. So, uh, next order of business. I've been told off for uh, using this uh, diamond pickaxe for far too long, so we're going to be upgrading our tools. Uh, that is the first thing that we'll do. We're going to turn off uh, Matmos because I hate Matmos. Um, right, do I have any food? Yes, I do. Fantastic. Okay. One and two. Brilliant. Okay. So we've got those out of the way. Uh, right, now I'm going to need some of this and this guy. And we're going to convert a lot of that into EMC. Uh, we're going to take out some diamonds, pop that back away, um, and some red matter. That should be fine. Cool. Right, after that we needed our Philosopher's Stone, and we're going to craft some new tools. That's right. Uh, not that one. <laughs> uh, so there we go, we've got the Dark Matter pick. Uh, then we needed... Hmm, hang on. Uses. Okay. You can make the Red Matter pick from there. Okay, so we have to upgrade them all first. So I may as well make all the tools. Yeah, okay. So we've got the axe, that's brilliant. Uh, then we needed the shovel. Then we needed the diamond hoe. No, uh, the normal hoe, rather. <laughs> um, was it like this as well? Uses. Uh, let's see, we still need the sword. We need the shears. And the hammer is only one of these. Okay, cool. So almost there, just need this one and one of these. Makes the Dark Matter Shears, fantastic. Uh, then it was this and this, maybe. Uses? Nope, up here. Cool, Red Matter Shears. Remember, we're just going to upgrade all of these um, as far as they can go. Uh, you go here. Cool, and then these guys along the top. Magical, and I assume this one is the same. Yep, there we go, which means that this guy should be here. Um, then like that. 